and Chattanooga's police force does not reflect the makeup of its population. That raises the question as to whether the city would be more equipped to handle black on black crime if there were more African American officers on the police force. And people we talked to today say yes. News Channel 9's Jerry Askin has uncovered a lack of African American officers in Chattanooga. He joins us now live outside police headquarters with what the new chief says he's doing to address this problem. Jerry. Hey, Kim McAlvin, good evening. Today we got our hands on numbers showing the lack of diversity on the CPD force. Many residents say that's a huge problem and it's time for change. Back in the day, you know, we did have a lot of black officers out here. Dorothy Sorrell has raised her kids and grandkids at College Hill Courts Apartments. She believes more black officers may encourage people to speak up and help police solve cases in her neighborhood. They can trust them more. And, you know, you know, they feel like they can talk to them more. We found out there are only 80 black officers working on the force of 448 sworn officers. That's about 18 percent in a city where African-Americans make up about 35 percent of the entire population. And there is only one black detective working in major crimes. I ain't been able to understand why they just got one minority in, in major crime with all this black on black crime. You at least need, we had seven or eight or nine in there one time. In 1968, Donut Williams made history as the first black police detective in Chattanooga. Back then, he says people were more willing to speak up. A lot of times, these black people are not going to tell the white officer nothing because they don't know their relatives, their background, their, their parents and stuff. You know, a lot of times them parents will tell you stuff. After our investigation, Police Chief Fred Fletcher told us he agrees there's a need for more officers who represent the entire community. Yet he knows there's a challenge when it comes to applicants. Obviously because we have fewer African-American, female, Hispanic um, candidates who either A, apply or successfully navigate the process. He's working on a solution. We are reviewing the entire process of how we test, how we physically assess, and how we screen candidates to make sure that we give everybody a fair chance. Yeah, today Chief Fletcher told me he's looking forward to working with city and community leaders to possibly make changes in diversity on the force. For now, we're live outside CPD. I'm Jerry Askin, News Channel 9.